Welcome back to my channel Math School. In, in today's video, let us solve the question number 2, part 1 from exercise 3.4, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the question 1 from the same exercise, examples 1 to 6 and 11 to 13, exercises 3.1 and 3. .1. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 2 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variable says form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find the solutions if they exist by elimination method. So the first part of the question number two is if we add one to the numerator and subtract one from the denominator a fraction reduces to one it becomes half if we only add one to the denominator what is the fraction. So first of all let us know what is a fraction. A fraction is of the form p by q right any number which is of the form p by q where q is not equal to 0 is called as a fraction so here in a fraction the number above that is p is the numerator and the number below q is the denominator right p here is the numerator of a fraction and q forms the denominator in a fractional number so here they're saying as if we add one to the numerator and subtract one from the denominator first of all we don't know what the numerator and denominator value here is so we have to assume the numerator and denominator value first so let us write down let the numerator of a fraction b be, be equal to x and let the denominator of a fraction be y so therefore so here the fraction form will be equal to the numerator by denominator here the numerator is x and the denominator is y so this is the fraction according to the question add 1 to the numerator so let us add 1 to this numerator plus 1 and subtract 1 from denominator so divided by denominator is y so subtract 1 then the fraction reduces to 1 whole fraction will be equal to 1 so let us take this as equation 1 now similarly they have given us the second condition with which we can form the second equation right so it becomes half so this fraction becomes half if we only add 1 to the denominator so numerator is kept as it is so numerator will be x as it is and if we add 1 to the denominator y plus 1 then the fraction will reduce to half or it is 1 by 2 so this forms equation number okay so according to the conditions given here we have formed the equation now let us reduce this equation and then we will find out the x and y value by elimination method and hence we have to find out what is the fraction that is x by y formed so from equation 1 here if you observe from equation 1 we have x plus 1 by y minus 1 is equal to 1 so let us send this y minus 1 to right hand side so it will come in the numerator right x plus 1 is equal to y minus 1 into 1 so this will be x plus 1 equal to anything into 1 will be the same number so y minus 1 into 1 will be y minus 1 itself now let us send the variables to left hand side and let us send the number or constants to right hand side so here we will send y to left hand side and plus 1 to right hand side so we'll get x this plus y will become minus y equal to plus 1 will become minus 1 when it goes to right hand side and minus 1 so this will be x minus y is equal to minus 1 and minus 1 since we have the same signs we have to add with a minus signs 1 plus 1 will be 2 so we got x minus y is equal to minus 2 from equation 1 let us take this as equation 3 similarly let us solve this equation 2 by cross multiplying again so we will get here x into 2 as 2x equal to y plus 1 into 1 any number into 1 will be the same number so y plus 1 into 1 will be y plus 1 itself right now let us send y variable to left hand side 
So we get 2x minus y is equal to 1. So let us mark this as equation 4. Now let us apply the elimination method to equation 3 and 4 and find out x and y value. So if you observe from equation 3 and 4, here we have minus y and minus y where the coefficient of y is 1 which is equal right so let us eliminate y from these two equations so let us first write down the equations x minus y is equal to minus 2 and we have 2x minus y equal to 1 here again the signs are same second step in elimination method is we have to change sign of any one equation so that we can cancel the y variable here so here we have plus and plus so let us change the signs of second equation or the fourth equation so changing the sign this will become minus here minus will become plus and since we have a plus here this will again become minus so here minus y and plus y will get cancelled and plus x and minus 2x we have to subtract with a greater number sign so minus 2x is a greater number here so we'll take minus and 2 minus 1 will be 1x equal to again we have here minus 2 and minus 1 so we have to add here with a minus sign 2 plus 1 is 3 so we got minus x is equal to minus 3 so this minus and minus will get cancelled and we will get x value as equal to 3 now let us substitute this x value in equation 3 and find out the y value also so substitute x equal to 3 in equation 3 from equation 3 we have x minus y equal to minus 2 so substituting x as 3 minus y is equal to minus 2 so let us send this 3 to right hand side so we get minus y is equal to minus 3 minus 2 so minus y is equal to minus and minus we have here so we will sub add with a minus sign so 3 plus 2 is 5 cancel this minus and minus so we get y value as equal to 5 we got x value as equal to 3 and y value is equal to 5 so therefore what is the fraction it is x my y okay the numerator was x and denominator was y so therefore we can write down the fraction is x by y that is equal to 3 by 5 okay so this is how we solve this problem if you want you can also verify this x equal to 3 and y equal to 5 in equation 1 or equation 2 and if it satisfies the equation then the obtained value of x and y are correct so if you want to verify you can also verify this is how we solve this problem if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving part 2 from question number 2 from exercise 3.2 chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc insert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 3 pair of linear equations shown on the screen